Oh my god, sun's already going down. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pixel Quest. I am Mr. Envelope. Hello. Uh, today is the big day of the Type Chain Tournament, hosted by Saha. And if you guys don't know... Not that one. <laughs> the Type Chain Tournament is where we have to have a team of four made up of Pokemon whose types... Uh, link up with each other and there's an example right here in this book Gengar, Salazzle, Charizard, Noivern. I've gone over this like five times <laughs> I think but uh yeah that's what today is and it went pretty good the tournament already happened obviously but it's been done for like two weeks at least um it it went it went very good and uh we we did a round robin style so all seven of us had to fight Everybody at least one time, whoever had the most wins, uh, won the tournament. And before I destroy everything, uh, yeah. this is a copy of all the loot pools and everything, or the prize pools, I should say. Uh, we got two 50% chest, a park ball, experience share, some trade coins, and a bunch of useful held items for third place. Second place gets this chest, a whole bunch of useful things, a bunch of candy, some useful held items, master ball, uh, loot chest, 75%. Uh, orbs of all the three different souls, some trade coins, a lot of good stuff. And this is the real cool one. First place gets uh, a whole bunch of stuff. 100% uh, loot chest, master ball, useful held items, all the orbs again, some blank TRs and TMs, um, a lot of trade coins, and the best, I would say, prize that we've had so far is a perfect shiny Eevee. With any nature that the person wants, any size the person wants, um, just a great Eevee. So, yeah, uh, Saha chose this prize because he said it fit the whole, like, type element that is in the tournament, uh, which I totally agreed with, so very cool prize pools, I would say. Uh, Saha and I came up with these, so, yeah, that's what we're fighting for. And then, uh, participants got one of these, a backpack full of evolution stones... Uh, a couple trade coins, loot chest with a mystery tier, and some balls and eggs. And to anyone who might be interested in participating in these tournaments, you can do so by supporting me on Patreon. Uh, all tier 2 supporters will get a whitelist on the server, so you can come hang out with me, all the other patrons, and me, <laughs> if you want to. Uh, but okay guys, before we uh, get into the battle recaps, I wanted to go over my team one more time. So... Our team was made up of Scolipede. You can see their types right here, by the way. So, Scolipede, Bug Poison, uh, Toxapex, Poison Water, Corsola, Water Rock, and Archaeops, Rock Flying. So, that's the team, and I'm going to try to briefly go over my whole strategy with all of them without getting into too many details and going into specifics. So, my idea was to always open with Scolipede and to set up Toxic Spikes and... To just poison our opponent and stall while they're poisoned. He has some good attack stats. So I gave him Steamroller and Poison Tail hoping that his speed would help us here. In trying to poison our opponent and make him flinch. Whenever we switched out from Scolipede or he got knocked out. The idea next was to use Toxapex who had Merciless which makes uh, our attacks critical hits. If our opponent's poisoned he has Recover. Uh, Baneful Bunker to also poison the opponent. Poison Jab to poison the opponent and be a strong move. Liquidation to be a strong attack and to just kind of stall while our opponent suffers and dies. <laughs> Next up was to have Corsola be 100% a stall. It has Recover, Protect, Aqua Ring, and Water Pulse. Aqua Ring will recover 1 16th of our HP as well as its held item leftovers. So together that's 1 8th of its HP every turn. Corsola was to just let our opponent be poisoned while it stalls and if it needs to recover HP and then maybe even throw in a water pulse to try to confuse our opponent to make them attack us as little as possible. And last but not least we have Archaeops who is just a really fast and strong guy. <laughs> he has pretty good attack stats and speed stats so I was hoping that he would just be there as like our last resort type of thing. Uh, he would go in to clean up with his high speed so he could just attack and finish the battle pretty much but he's also here in case we needed someone with some type coverage and you know just to be a strong guy he has a roost to heal up its hp because of his terrible ability where if he loses half of his hp 
uh, he loses half of his attack stat. So, Archeops. That's the team. That was my plan with them. You can see their held items right here. Read what they do if you want. Very cool stuff. Alrighty guys, so as we go through these battles, I'm just going to be doing some stuff around the world. Catching Pokemon, trying to fill up my decks because I am pathetically low at only 28%. Uh, so bear with me while I just do random stuff and we go through these battles. So my first battle was against Timmy the Boss, one of the patrons on the server. And I start out with my Scolipede. He sends out Dragonite. He does an Outrage, I do Toxic Spikes, and he almost kills me while I was only able to get one set of spikes down. I wasted a turn by doing Protect, and he was able to kill my Scolipede in the next turn with his Dragonite. I switch in my Archeops to try to do a Rock-type move, and I was able to do some good damage. <laughs> well, let's hope for the best. Hell yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this guy. That's cool. Timmy then switches to Noivern, and I kept my Archeops out. I did another Stone Edge attack, and I was able to also one-shot that Pokemon. Timmy then sends out his Hydreigon, and I didn't really know what to do, so I kept Archeops out there. I did a Stone Edge again. I did some pretty decent damage, but it wasn't enough to fully knock out Hydreigon. And you were scared about your team? I'm terrified about my team. <laughs> Hydragon did crunch, but I knew I was able to knock it out in one more turn if I was able to land the attack. So I did a Stone Edge, which probably should have did something with more accuracy, and I was able to knock out Hydragon. Let's go. Just oh. use Swords of Revealing Light. Jinkies Lewinkies. Oh man. Timmy's final Pokemon was Tyranitar, and lucky for me, uh, it got poisoned by the toxic spike sent out from Scolipede. Um, I kept Archeops in there, and I tried to do a Roost to heal him up, but it kind of was just a waste of time, because eventually, uh, Tyranitar was able to knock me out, but it did start taking a bit of damage from its poison. Tyranitar was like half its health already, and I switched in to Toxapex, who was able to do a liquidation, and I got the win. My first win, and the first win in the tournament. I think I'll be fine. Whoa. Oh, oh nice. That oh, dude. I was worried. Nice. I was worried. <laughs> GG. GG, though. You did good. So my next fight was against Saha, and I start out with Scolipede to do my Toxic Spike setup, and he sends out Flygon. I outspeed him, and I'm able to throw down one set but then he does Sandstorm. Oh, I just realized something I forgot to do with my team. Make it good. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Since I don't have any real good strategies against Flygon, I tried to just make myself faster so I could try to poison him with my Poison Tail attack. Flygon is trying to do some Dragon Tail moves to just do some really strong attacks against me, but I'm able to protect and stall for a bit until... Uh, he finally knocks me out. Okay. Oh, at least I, I got you, uh, ouching up. Then I switched into Toxapex, and I did a liquidation, and luckily, with the poison that was inflicted on Flygon, I was able to knock it out. Rip. Stop it. <gasps> well... Yo! You did it! My boy! So next up, Saha sends out a Drag Algae, and it was a pretty bad type matchup with my Toxapex being out. I was able to do a recover to heal up Toxapex, but then I ended up switching out to Archeops, because I was thinking he could hopefully just do some good damage. Lucky for me, that's exactly what he did. He did his Dragon Tail attack, so I did some pretty good damage to Drag Algae. And then it forced Saha to switch out his Pokemon. Whoa. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Saha was forced to switch into his Dragapult, which kind of freaked me out because I've never fought one of those before. Uh, I tried doing a Dragon Tail again, but it missed. And he did a U-turn and was able to switch back into Dragalgy. Uh, now it was Dragalgy versus 
Archaeops again. I did another Dragon Tail, and I was able to knock it out. Wow. Hooray. Now, I had no idea what to do against Dragapult, like I said. I've never really fought one of those before. Um, I tried doing a Stone Edge against it, but Dragapult outsped me and knocked me out in one hit. I wasn't really sure what to do against Dragapult, so I was thinking I could at least poison him. I sent out Toxapex. I did Baneful Bunker, hoping he'd do a physical move, but instead he did Draco Meteor. Uh, luckily, I was still protected from the move, uh, but since I didn't poison him, I tried to do a Poison Jab, and Saha switched out to Gengar, so Poison Jab barely did any damage. After that, I tried to do Liquidation, because I figured it was the best move I could do without switching out, and it did a pretty decent amount of damage. Saha kept trying to put Toxapex to sleep and it kept missing, so I was able to just get all my liquidations done and knock out Gengar. All that was left was his Dragapult, and man, I was worried. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hate you. For whatever reason, I thought it would be a good idea to switch into Corsola, but Dragapult knocked me out pretty quick. Um, so I sent back out Toxapex, and... All I could do was Poison Jab, and it was barely doing any damage. Luckily, though, Saha was holding a Choice Band, or Choice Specs, one of the Choice Items that makes it so you can only use one attack. Saha was stuck doing his Draco Meteor attack, and eventually, it led him to running out of PP. Rip. <laughs> Struggle? <laughs> what? Yeah, because of the uh, Choice Band, or whatever I got. Yo! <laughs> and with that, I got my second win in the tournament. Nice. <laughs> so the next fight was against AC, and she starts off the battle with her Noivern. I send out Scolipede, and I try to do my Toxic Spikes again, but she does a Flamethrower and almost knocks me out. You have a brain? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Very rude. What? I'm just saying, go. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? Uh, luckily, with my speed boost, I did get a little bit fast enough to set down another Toxic Spikes right before she knocked me out. AC's next Pokemon is Gardevoir, and luckily with the double Toxic Spikes we threw out, uh, it became badly poisoned. I didn't want to fight uh, Gardevoir with our Archaeops though, so I did a U-turn uh, right after taking a Psychic from Gardevoir. It did a pretty good amount of damage, but I switched into our Corsola because I was thinking we can use our stalling strategy and just let Gardevoir slowly die from the poison. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Corsola took a Psychic Attack from Gardevoir, but it didn't do all that much damage, so I was able to throw down our Water Veil so Corsola can start regaining health every turn. Unfortunate for me, though, I think AC was onto me with my whole stalling strategy, so she withdrew her Gardevoir after I tried to do a Protect, and she sent out her Delphox. Delphox came in, did a Psychic Attack, and did a whole bunch of damage to our Corsola. Lucky for me, though, Delphox was badly poisoned when it entered the battlefield just like Gardevoir, and our Corsola was healing a whole bunch from its Water Veil and Leftover combo. We had the type advantage, so I went ahead and I tried to do a water pulse, and we did a pretty decent amount of damage. Oh no! What? Corsola took a lot of damage from Delphox's psychic attack, so I decided to protect, try to regain a little bit of health, uh, but after that, AC withdrew her Delphox and sent out Togekiss. Togekiss is a pretty tanky boy. Uh, it did a dazzling gleam and I tried to do a water pulse. I barely did any damage to it, but it did a pretty decent amount to me. Are you confused right now? Uh, no. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> AC and I had a bit of a back and forth with Togekiss and Corsola. I would be able to do a little bit of chipping damage and then heal up a bit, and she would do the same. Until finally, she switched out into Delphox again, and I was able to clean it with the Water Pulse. Yo! Ah. With Delphox down, we still had our back and forth where I would do a little bit of damage and she would do some to me, but eventually I knocked out her Togekiss, and then finally her Gardevoir, getting me the win. 
So next up in the tournament, I'm fighting Doddle. Doddle starts by sending out his Greninja, and I start with Scolipede again, and I do Toxic Spikes. Um, he switches out and sends out Alolan Sand Slash and does Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin gets rid of the Toxic Spikes I set out, and after a little bit of stalling from me, uh, <laughs> he quickly knocks out my Scolipede, and I send out my Archaeops. Unfortunately for me, though, Archaeops gets knocked out, like, instantly. No! Why are you... Did you do Trick Rip. Room? I wasn't paying attention. Nah, Rapid Spin uh, increases your speed once. It age. does? That yeah, is... they added that in uh, Gen 8, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, you noob. Bullshit. You know. Okay, well, I've I fucking lost. Ice and Steel are my team's weaknesses, so... Next, I send out Corsola, and I try to do some water pulses, but they barely do anything. So I tried to recover and just do like a few more water pulses, and I get knocked out again. And it's down. I think I could have done something with Corsola, but I, I messed up. My next play is to send out Toxapex, and I'm able to do a few hits on Sandslash, and I'm able to finally knock it out. Unfortunately though, Doddle sends out his Agron and almost one-shots me. I tried to do something, but in the next turn I'm knocked out and I lost the battle. That was a very quick loss for me. Nice. GG. GG. So next up it's me versus the Jaded Druid. Druid starts with his grandpa. I do my normal starting move <laughs> but uh druid does a glare which paralyzes me which cuts my speed in half and makes it so there's a chance i'm unable to attack lucky for him that's exactly what happened i am slower and i can't land a dang hit at all druid knocks out my scolipede and i am dunzo oh my god <laughs> well shit so next I send out my Toxapex, hoping that I can maybe poison Drampa and do like that, you know, whittling down maneuver that I've been trying to do with Toxapex. Uh, it actually worked and it took a really long time, uh, mostly because Druid did Outrage, which confused him and it kind of helped me out a little bit. Toxapex ends up getting paralyzed in the process, but I do end up knocking out Drampa. The Grandpa is dead. Yay. We did it. Bound to happen. Druid's next Pokemon is a Garchomp, and that thing is a beast. I get a little worried, so I tried to heal my Toxapex, but it gets knocked out instantly from Garchomp. I send out Corsola because Garchomp did get poisoned when he entered the battle, so I try to do my whole stalling technique with Corsola. It kind of works out as I heal and protect on and off. I'm able to get down a water veil with Corsola and I keep healing and eventually Garchomp does die to poison. What? Druid's next Pokemon is Aerodactyl and Corsola is fully healed. So we do a bit of a back and forth, but I eventually knock Aerodactyl out too with Corsola. Like a flower. <laughs> That's me. Oh boy. And this is where it all goes downhill. <laughs> Druid's next Pokemon is Rhyperior, and so quickly, he one-shots my Corsola, I send out Archaeops, he one-shots Archaeops. I lost the battle. Rip. Wow. Oh, that god dang... I'm scared. Rocky boy. Alrighty, guys. So, the last battle is me versus Majestic. I send out my Scolipede, Majestic sends out a Bronzong. I get really caught off guard because Bronzong does a skill swap, which takes my ability, and I get his. I'm a little caught off guard, but I still try to do a Steamroller to try to get some damage on this Bronzong, but Bronzong does a Gyro Ball, which is a very powerful steel type move that only gets stronger uh, the slower your opponent, or the slower the user is, so... It was a very powerful gyro ball, and it knocks me out. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, the speed boost is going to be weird, but I think I can pull something off. I don't like this anymore. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> oh. 
So I kind of make a mistake in this next move. I send out my Archeops when I meant to send out Toxapex. So I waste a turn by calling back Archeops and I send out Toxapex. Uh, but lucky for me, Majestic also kind of wasted his turn because he did the move Trick, which switches our held items. Uh, but he didn't really get anything that he wanted because I had Black Sludge on me and that doesn't really help Bronzong. Yo, check this out. We got a stack attacker. Let's go ahead and throw a Beast Ball. Um, but anyways, with Toxapex out, uh, I'm able to actually take down Bronzong with uh, Liquidation. So that was pretty cool. Knocked it out. I got that win. Oh, you bingus. Uh, that Corviknight is tough. This I don't even know how was, down. was my ace. Next comes Corviknight, and I don't know what to do. Honestly, I think I kind of forgot, too, what type Corviknight even is. But I have Toxapex out. I tried to do anything I can to it, but it ends up knocking me out. Go to Blaze of Glory if you have to, Mystery. Blaze of Glory. Come on. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna cry. Next, I send out my Archeops, and I try to do Stone Edges on Corviknight, because I think that's gonna be able to do it, but Corviknight does Roost, attacks me with Brave Bird, I do Roost, we're going back and forth for a bit until finally Corviknight knocks out my Archeops. Finally, I'm left with just Corsola. I do anything I can to stay alive, but Corviknight knocks me out, and I lose another battle i don't like how low i'm getting stop no. healing no. <laughs> i know right oh <laughs> all right well gg gg, GG, GG guys GG. that was a really scary. good game it was good well there you have it guys that's the whole type chain tournament hosted by saha i know it was a long one and thank you for sticking through it if you did uh, i had a lot of fun with those battles i know they were quite long but you know we did it. We got through them. Um, I think there's definitely room to improve this team. Um, for sure, I probably should have tried harder. Or maybe I just would have had a better time if I got Regenerator on Corsola. Um, Majestic even pointed it out. Like, if I had Regenerator on Corsola and Toxapex, switching between both of those to stall would have been ridiculously OP. Although, I did find that a lot of my trouble was that I couldn't do enough damage to my opponents, so I don't know. There was definitely room to improve, and I, I think I learned a bit too from this tournament, but it was a lot of fun. Making this team and doing all the battles like it always is. And in case it wasn't clear, I did not win the tournament. Um, <laughs> person with the most wins obviously won, and I only had three, and Doddle was undefeated. He had six wins. How we uh, kept track was we had every player put their skull on a post. And then all the skulls below that person uh, was their wins. So Doddle was undefeated. He beat everybody. And I only had three wins. And I think AC and Saha also only had three wins. So we had to do uh, extra battles for a tiebreaker. I'm not going to show them. But eventually I ended up beating AC and then I lost to Saha. Uh, AC lost to both me and Saha, and Saha won his two battles, so he got third place, I got the consolation prize, <laughs> which is, you know, just some balls, and there were some eggs in there, I hatched them, didn't get anything too good, but yeah, that was a good tournament, and if you guys want to participate in these tournaments, you can, just go over to Patreon, there's a link down below, you can support me, and get a whitelist on the server. I also want to say good job to everyone who participated in the tournament, uh, I think it was really cool to see what everyone came up with for their type chains. Uh, it was a really cool idea, so thank you, Saha, for coming up with it, too. Um, so, real quick, again, uh, Doddle got first place, Majestic got second place, Saha got third, AC and I tied for fourth and third, I think? No, fourth and fifth. Druid came in sixth, and Timmy came in last, but I want to stress again, everyone did a great job. I'm very proud of everybody. GG's all around. But we got some work to do here, guys. Uh, a lot of server improvement builds have been going on. Majestic built a beautiful nether portal room for us. So now we got this at spawn. We've still yet to make the nether hub, but that's still a work in progress. Uh, and then Doddle and I did some work around here, making spawn just a little more uh, prettier. We built the land to come out this way and... It leads up to the junk exchange place. It's looking pretty good. We got bridges and everything all proper now. 
I'm very happy with Spawn. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Pixel Quest. Check out the links down below if you're interested. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.